It is the single hottest topic of conversation in every speed production meeting at Daytona. How the hell do they qualify for this race? And <laughs> how do we explain it to people? We hit a new low with the creation of this cartoon. No, I'm just kidding. But, but let's roll the cartoon anyway. Speed IQ. Hey, Dad. How does a race car make it to the Daytona 500? Well, son, it's a complicated system of checks and balances, and it all starts with last year's points. Huh? Well, any team that finished in the top 35 in owner's points last year is guaranteed a spot in the race. But, Dad, there are 43 cars in the Daytona 500. If only 35 are guaranteed from last year, where do the other eight come from? Well, son, that's what qualifying's for. What's that? NASCAR qualifying, round and round they go. NASCAR qualifying to find who's fast or slow. Each car makes it twice around until the fastest two are found. And those two will be front row bound for the Daytona 500. Yeehaw. But Dad, if only two cars make it from qualifying, and 35 cars make it from the point system, that's only 37 cars. You still need six cars to fill up the race. Well, son, that's why we've got the duels. The what? They're called the duels. They're called the duels. Son, you're gonna love them. They're called the duels. They're called the duels. Guess what? There are two of them. Two cars will advance from each to race here at Daytona Beach. It's every driver's dream to reach the Daytona 500. Now here's how it works, son. All the cars that qualified are split into two groups. And those groups make up the two dual races. It's anybody's race to win, they move from front to back. Remember those restricted plates, they're racing in a pack. And when the checkered flag does fall, it's time for mathematics, y'all. Cause two more drivers get the call for the Daytona 500. Yeah, baby. But which two drivers move on, Dad? Is it the ones that finish first and second? Not necessarily, son. Remember, last year's top 35 already guaranteed. The top two cars that qualified are in based on their speed. The two best cars not from these groups will join the other racing coupes. It's kind of like jumping through hoops to Daytona 500. But Dad, that's only one of the duels. Didn't you say there were two races? That's right, son. Race two. You know the words. When the checkered flag does fall. It's time for mathematics, y'all. There's two more drivers get the call for the Daytona 500. Gee, Dad, I'm confused. You said two cars advance from race one of the duels and two cars from race two. That's four cars all together. If you add that to the two cars from qualifying and the 35 cars from last year's owner points, that's still only 41 cars. And you need 43 cars for the Daytona 500. Well, son, don't forget about the champion's provisional. What in the world is that? The champion! He's been the best. He's brought fans to their feet. When it gets this time of year, he's guaranteed a seat. One former champ will get the nod if he hasn't already qualified. You'll see him driving his hot rod at the Daytona 500. Thank you, boys. But that makes 42 cars. You need one more. Well, son, then you go back to qualifying. NASCAR qualified, it fills up the field. NASCAR qualified, the last car is revealed. The fastest car not already in will move on with a chance to win. It's time to let the games begin. The day Hey, Dad? Yes, son? What if the fastest qualifiers are already in the top 35 in owner points? What happens then? Well, son, then you could take even more cars from the NASCAR qualifying. Do you have a song for that? Not today, son. Not today. <laughs> you, gotta, you gotta love it. It's a nice piece of television right there. <laughs> I don't have a thing to add. <laughs> it's yours if you want it. No. No. No? No. I think I would have strangled that little kid. <laughs> But we joke about it. It is complicated. It's, it's incredibly difficult to sort out. David, Odds are. I don't care. <laughs>